Welcome to another Technical Corner. I'm here with Steve from Hexagon. Today we've got something very special for you. It's a brand new product um, that's gonna help people to hopefully scan components um, quicker, more accurately, more portably. Um, what are we looking at, Steve? Okay, Rob, so what, what we have here at Hexagon, we've recently launched our range of what we call handheld scanners. Now we have two versions. We've got an Atlas Scan Max or a Marvel Scan and they just offer the customer just complete flexibility to take the unit to the shop floor. It may be in a, you know, an aircraft hangar, anywhere out in sort of a real life application where they can do real time scanning. And then there's no restrictions on uh, potential size of the part or, or where we can take the unit to be fair. And why is that portability important for your customers? I think it's, you know, there's, there's other scanning uh, equipment that we manufacture at Hexagon, but it, it could be more tailored towards uh, you know, being used on a, on a machine shop environment with the addition of you know, full-scale hard touch probing. But what, what we have with the, the, the handheld scanners, it's more this, the ability to take it anywhere. It comes in a really small flight case that you could carry onto an aircraft. And it's the ethos to just be in on site, set up scanning within seconds and uh, you know, capturing real high quality data with uh, you know, with a minimum minimum of effort, really. Absolutely, and you've got it right now attached to your laptop. It looks like we're going to be seeing a bit of a live demo. But yep. before we do that, what kind of um, components would you be scanning with this? What kind of accuracy can you achieve? And I guess that informs what you'd be doing with it. Absolutely. I mean, in terms of the accuracy, if we look, we're looking around about the twenty micron uh, mark for the for the scanning heads and obviously we can take up to three million points uh, a second and it's dependent on the accuracy or you know the, the amount of points that the customer wants to to capture as it you know everything ranges you know it's a different application for a different customer but they've got the ability to set the threshold and parameters to you know to their specification absolutely and when you're scanning um the form of components and checking out the features um i guess this is more kind of big components it's all about the way, where it's more about kind of the, the way it looks and the way it fits and it flushes and the way body panels, for example, might flow together. This is really useful for being able to go around a, a full car or something like that and, and measure the, the form of it. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the, you know, the part, that, the part that you can see on the table we're going to use for a demo a bit later on, that's, that's to show the principles. But the main, I would say, areas that we would use this would be the, the aerospace, uh, yellow goods, uh, shipbuilding, rail industry where they very, very quickly want to capture the 3D form of a, of a part or a panel and compare it to a, a nominal CAD data. Yeah, and if you could imagine if you had to just take a massive, I mean, I saw a big, big oil and gas style flange there. If you had to try and pick it up and stick it on a granite bed on a CMM, you have to take it really slowly and come mm. and point it and touch the probes and touch the thread holes or whatever. Um, this is a much easier way because you take the, the me measurement system to the machine, to the pro, uh, to the component, mm. rather than taking the component to the measurement machine. I think that's the difference, as you, as, you, as you rightly said, to try and pick up a massive component you know, and crane it into a, an inspection type environment. You know, and it might be set up on a machine that's uh, you know, far, far too accurate for what it needs for the application, which you know, it might cause bottlenecks because it's, it's preventing other things being measured on there. With this, you can actually take it to it, set it up, and away to go. Yeah. So you actually, maybe not if you're just making cars, if you're making just big machined components. Yeah. And having to measure them in process, maybe this is a good option for those as well. Yeah. Okay. Enough about applications. Let's look at it in in practice. You've got a little test demo for us. What are you going to show us? Okay. So what I'm going to show today, it's just the the, the principles of the device itself. So literally, we've got the the ability to take this anywhere we need to move it, and then the way these systems work is the Atlas Scan Max. We, uh, we put a range of uh, targets around the component. So as you can see here, they can either be targeted on the part itself. We can put them on a, some form of a rotary turntable, as you can see, or the ones around the edges. Uh, you know, if that was a fixture, for instance, they could be magnetically put on a fixture. And all the scanner needs to know is common reference points by these retro reflective targets before we start measuring. So you can see on the screen, you've already scanned some of the re these reflectors. Yeah. So we've got kind of the, the, the frame of the, the, the plane of the rotary table, and then we've got these magnetic ones as well. Yeah. It's fascinating. You could just, like you say, put these on a vice around your part. You don't even have to touch the part. I think um, they are great because for certain applications or industries, they might feel a little bit uncomfortable about putting actual stickers on a, you know, if it was a really expensive, sports car for instance they might feel a bit uncomfortable putting the stickers on 
But with the magnetic ones, they can put some pillars or posts or fixturing around the car, for instance, utilize the, the magnetic ones, and then there's no, no stickers to go on the, on the, on the item itself. Brilliant. Um, I've just taken one away. Hope it still works. Yeah. Give us a demo. Okay. So there's different uh, there's different modes with with, with the, the Atlas Scan Max. But again, just to just for the purposes of giving a demonstration, we 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 utilise all the commands and controls from the head itself. So there's literally a you know like a mouse arrangement on the back of the unit. So what we're going to do here is go into a scan group and just say I want to scan the surface. So then I'll turn on the the arrangement of lasers. Wow, and you can see the screen updating live as you as you move it around the component. Yeah, and it's literally just a case of, of float this around the whole component to uh, to capture the data. Yeah, and obviously in this scenario we're only capturing um, one side of the component. Yeah, one face of the the sheet metal component. Yeah, but it's within the you know the the, the handheld hexagon software that we use with the system. It's quite a simple process to flip this part over, scan the other side, and then the software will just stitch the two halves together. Yeah, and then even with a sheet metal component, which is, I guess you just want to know the 2D um, position and, and size of your holes and your slots, mm. um, you could take that component and then, and then make sure you, you, you've cut the first part right. Yeah, and then there's, fun you know, there's functions with this for, if we look at the geometry that's in there, um, it, it, what's quite unique to Hexagon with the with the, the scanners that we manufacture is we have what we call a, f a hole flash capability and what that enables me or the user to, to do we can actually position the, uh, the scanner above the the item and we actually take an image of the of the features that we want to capture and the software will auto recognize whether it's a slot or a hole and give me the geometry so we can set up a you know, a datum or an alignment system. And in addition to the uh, to the Atlas scan that we've talked about and I've showed you today, we also do a Marvel scan, which allows photogrammetry and targetless scanning as we would put the target markers or reference markers on the wall or the ceiling of a particular scanning area. And then uh, that, uh, in conjunction with the, the Wi-Fi box and the battery pack, it just has, it negates the need to have any cables trailing around and it just uh, just elevates the uh, the portability a bit further. Perfect. So um, thanks so much for the live demo, Steve. We can see it updating really quickly because there's 3 million points uploading almost instantly. Um, I think because this is a brand new product, um, people want to know more about it. How can they find out more about this brand new product? Well, firstly, if anyone looks on the website, they can see all the information on there. Uh, they can contact myself if there's anyone interested in an on-site demo or they want to come to a Hexagon facility, we can do that as well. So uh, yeah, all, all the usual channels really. Brilliant, so brand new products, the handheld scanner made for portability and ease of use with probably some surprising applications we'll find in the future, hopefully. Um, customers will hopefully find out what, what they can use it for. Um, so get in touch with Steve uh, or the rest of the team at Hexagon if you want a demo on the brand new Atlas Scan Max and the Marvel. Um, check them out now.